Hi Air Signs, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, we are going to find out what have your person in mind been telling people about you lately. And this is a collective reading for Air Signs. And if you were divinely guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you. Even if you're dealing with the same air sign, okay? Let's get your reading started. <clears throat> losing my voice. I'm losing my voice a little bit. Please bear with me. Spirits and angels, please show me for air signs. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. What have the person in mind been telling people about air signs lately? Queen of Pentacles <clears throat> at the bottom of the deck. And there are signs. Your person in mind can be anybody. It could be a friend, um, an ex, or somebody you're romantically connected to currently. Or it could be a family member. It could be anybody, okay? Let's see. So this person could be a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. And it looks like with the Queen of Cups here in reverse, feels like maybe both of you may have loved each other, may have cared for each other in the past. But... There has been a fight here with a five of wands, so this person has been telling people about that fight, okay? That drama, that fight, that argument, argument, um, five of swords, but they may not have been completely honest about the information that they've been telling people, okay? Because five of swords and energy where they want to win, so they may tell things, they may have told things to people, where, you know, to put them in a good light, to make people take sides, I feel, to take their side, basically. <clears throat> We've got the Nine of Cups here, and the Page of Swords. On, on top of that, I feel like they've been spying on you ever since that fight, that argument, um, the Nine of Cups here. They could have been telling people that you're selfish and, you know, uh, or self-centered. Or that you wanted the cake and eat it too. Something about you like wanting it all or being a little bit too much. I don't know what. Like it's like too much wanting everything. Hope that makes sense to you. Or just being really selfish and thought about yourself and not others. Um, that's what I'm getting here. And with the page of swords. They could also have been telling people that. You know, that you can't quite be trusted. I don't know. I'm just getting this energy. Like, perhaps all this while. Like, I don't know. I'm hearing ulterior motive as well. So this person has been telling people that you have an ulterior motive uh, for your own personal gains. Okay. And we've got the death card here in reverse. <clears throat> Seven of pentacles here. They've been telling, your person in mind has been telling people that, you know, they're not sure, they're not sure whether to talk to you again, they're not sure whether to reconcile with you. Uh, maybe they could also have been telling people that perhaps you should be the one apologizing, you should be the one reaching out to them, and they're just waiting. But if you, if you were to apologize to them, if you were to reach out to them, then maybe they would give this a second chance, this friendship a second chance, or this... Uh, relationship a second chance and then with the eight of swords here well, first they could have been telling people that being with you being connected with you whether as a friend or as a romantic partner that it has been nothing but drama or and then they're just so sick and tired of it and that they don't want to be involved anymore or just don't want to deal with it anymore that's what I'm getting here yeah let's see more <clears throat> air signs Okay, so they do tell people that they actually still do care about you with the Six of Cups here. But they think that you should be the one <clears throat> apologizing to them. You should be the one extending an olive branch. And with the Hierophant, and then we've got the Queen of Pentacles. 
Yeah. They could also have been telling people that they have been such a faithful friend to you, okay? This person can be a Virgo, Capricorn, or a Taurus, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio again, or somebody like you are Libra, Gemini, Chris, but can be any sign. But I feel like your person in mind, for some of you, your mom, your mom could be saying something to... <laughs> this part is just for some of you, okay? Not for all of you. I feel like you may have a mother, mother figure, a mother or mother figure that could have been telling people about your childhood stuff, okay? Uh, about past, past stuff about you, past things, and uh, how you have changed now. How, how sweet you were in the past, and now you're just constantly arguing with your mom. Could be also a sister, okay? That's just for some of you, it's not for all of you, <clears throat> but... For a lot of you, um, you know, this person you have in mind could be talking, could be telling people how, how kind they've been towards you, you know, with the Hierophant, how loyal they've been towards you, and the Queen of Pentacles, how much they've invested in you in this connection, and then now, it's like, uh, it kind of feels like they've been telling people that, um, that, but at the end of the day, it's like all you care about is yourself with the Nine of Cups here. And with the Five of Swords that, you know, just you either they could be telling people that you're vindictive, you did that in purpose. Um, it's, it is a very selfish energy. I don't know why they keep saying that you are selfish and unreasonable, something about that as well. And that the fight was uncalled for because... They had all the best intention. They could be telling people that. That they have all the best intention for you. They loved you. They cared about you. Um, they've been loyal, committed to you as a friend or as a, an, a lover. But they they keep telling people that you, you didn't appreciate it. And all you care is yourself. That's what I'm getting here, okay? Let's see more. Yeah, they've been telling people that both of you do not see eye to eye anymore. You see, the Six of Cups is the young, young energy. And then the Two of Cups here, it's like, like grown, grown ups. So for some of you, this could be a childhood friend, child, or could be a sibling, could be an ex as well from the past. I feel like this person may have been telling people that, you know, both of you used to get along, used to be good. And then now both of you are separated, no longer see eye to eye. And we've got the Ten of Pentacles here in my verse. And then we've got the Six of Swords. Yeah, they could have been telling people like, Oh, I'm just going to move on from this. You know, forget about it. Um, we could have been good together. I mean, if we were still connected to each other, then it would have been really good. But too bad. Um, I'm just going to move on from this. Yeah. And we've got the Eight of, uh, sorry, Nine of Swords here. And uh, Nine of Wands in my verse. So... This person may have been telling people that they've given up on this connection. Um, unless you come and apologize to them, unless you take the initiative, they're not going to do anything about it. They could have been telling people about that. They could have also been telling people that they've spent money on you. You know, Ten of Pentacles here in my verse. Um, or that they've lost something valuable because of you. It could mean that as well. They could also have been telling people that they wish that things were how it used to be in the past between the two of you. But now it has changed. Um, they tell people like you're heartless with the Queen of Cups here in my first. That you're heartless and foul swords. You're just being mean to them. You've been mean to that. You have been mean to them or have said something mean to them. Um... Yeah, something about you just looking out for yourself. They could be saying that to other people. May not be true, okay, air signs. So just don't take it personally. Um, but what I'm seeing here with the Seven Pentacles, they could also have been telling people that, you know, because of you, something is stuck. Because of you, something is stuck. It could be their money or it could be them being stuck. Hmm... They could also have been telling people that if you, if they were to observe observe carefully, observe you carefully, they'll be able to see what they're trying to say here, okay? 
Hope that makes sense to you. <clears throat> anyway, air signs. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, this is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I will leave you with two playlists on the screen right now. The first one is from my second channel. It's a travel vlog channel. Check it out if you want to. And the second playlist is from this channel. It has all of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the signs with different topics and different questions. But these readings are still new, so they're still relevant. Actually, I'm going to leave you with three playlists. Okay, uh, just pick whichever one you like to watch next if you want to. <clears throat> I hope to see you back here again tomorrow, alright? Take care, air signs. Bye.